Welcome everybody back to the Tech Woke Podcast. My name is Chris, and in this podcast, we talk about cyber career and life. And in this podcast, we're going to talk about specifically how to become an information system security officer with no experience at all. I myself became an information system security officer with no experience at all. So I'm going to tell you some of the steps I did to become an information system security officer, and it should help you pursue the role if that's the role that you want to do. And I'm going to get into it right now. So the first step I did is I tried to figure out what an ISO was. At the time, I didn't know what an ISO was. And for those that don't know, an ISO is an information system security officer. So the first thing I did, I wanted to understand what the role was. So I went on Indeed. I found out the job description of an ISO. I watched videos and found out what they do, how they do it, their processes, what they use. So from my research, I gathered that an ISO manages the risk management framework or RMF of a program. So I gathered that. I found out that ISOs also review STIGs, which is how they harden systems. So I got that. And I figured out that they use something called the NIST guidelines at the time to help with risk management framework. And I was just studying that. And then the last thing I found out an ISO uses GRC software like an EMAS, and they mainly use EMAS. So I focused on seeing if I could find some training that resembled EMAS. So that's the main things that I tried to figure out for the position. I just tried to double down on that, and I just gathered as much information as I could. From the knowledge that I gathered from the position, I started, I needed to get the education, and I also needed to get a certification for the position. So the first thing I worked on, I saw that many of the roles required that you needed a security plus. So I made sure I got a security plus certification. And then at the time I was getting my master's degree in cybersecurity. So from the master's, I've I've taken a lot of the coursework that related back to the position. For example, uh, the NIST guidelines, we went over the NIST guidelines for my coursework. Uh, We went on, we, we talked about GRC things, some coursework like that. So I used that coursework in my master's program and I used the security plus and that's how I got my education requirement for the position. So after I got my certification, I got my education and used all the coursework that I did and took. So then I started to update my resume. So from that, I went on Google, looked up resumes of ISOs and I took the certification education I already had and started updating my resume. So I put all the coursework I had, put the certification, Anything that I, that's related to the position, I added to the resume, even if it was on my own. Like, for example, you can look up videos on how to download stigs. I did stuff like that and added it to my resume just to say I had I, I knew what it was. I didn't have experience doing, but I knew what it was and I practiced on my own. I did things like that and just started slowly adding my resume and I made my resume look great. Had people that was in the field review it. And after that, I just started applying for jobs. So once my resume was good, the next step you need to start doing is applying for jobs. So the the websites that I use to apply for jobs, I used Indeed. I used a website called Clearance Jobs. And I just made sure I started applying to as many jobs as possible that related to ISO. So I applied to probably hundreds, hundreds of jobs in that field. And after that, I started getting interviews for the position. So the last thing I started to do is I started preparing for interviews. So how you prepare for the interview, I started looking on YouTube, some different types of interview questions that can go on. Like for example, what is a vulnerability? What are the steps of RMF? If your vulnerability can't fix, how would you fix that vulnerability? If you're having issues getting maybe a system administrator to fix a vulnerability, what would the next steps do? I would start, I started preparing as much as I could for the interview process. So after all those all those processes that I did, the last step, I just got my I got my first job as an information system security officer. And many of you will get the same position if you're trying to pursue it, if, as long as you follow these same steps. But overall, that's pretty much it, everybody. Remember, get 1% better every day. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, write a comment about your experience. So that's pretty much it, everybody. Peace out. I'll see you on the next video.